All right, we've introduced the first two structures, probably the most commonly heard ones, the rotator cuff, the labrum, and connective tissue and ligaments. Well, there's one third structure or pseudo structure that we would call that's a stabilizing tool that we use in our shoulder, and that's actually scapular stabilizing. So remember I said you can't strengthen a labrum. You can't strengthen connective tissue. It's not contractile. So what do we do when that's injured if we're not going the surgical route? We strengthen the rotator cuff, those four muscles we talked about, and we strengthen the scapular stabilizing. So what does that mean? Okay, this is your scapula, your shoulder blade. You may have heard of it. You may not have. Basically, this floats on your back. It's attached by, I think it's like 16 or 17 muscles, and they all pull on it in different directions. And so you can imagine if there's muscles pulling it up, muscles pulling it down, you want those muscles to be pulling equally. So that way that the shoulder blade is rock solid in your back. So what we wanna do is if we have an injured tissue and we wanna stabilize it, again, this is our goal, we can only activate muscles. So we're gonna strengthen the muscles that pull it up, the muscles that pull it down, muscles that pull it to the side. And some people are gonna need the top ones. Some are gonna need the ones that pull the shoulder down. We're gonna determine that in an exam. But you're gonna go through all these exercises that don't necessarily feel like not really working my shoulder or anything like that. So it may seem confusing when you first start your rehab, but what we're doing, we're working all these structures around it. We're creating a stable base. So that way when you move your arm, it's rock lock solid. You don't want to picture, you know, shooting a cannon from a canoe. You shoot that cannon from the canoe, it's going to rock all the way back and forth. You move an arm with a shoulder blade that moves a lot, it's going to move all back and forth. That's no good. You shoot a cannon off of concrete, all of a sudden it's a stable base. When we move that arm and this is all locked in by our scapular stabilizers, we move it up and down and we're in much better shape. So we can actually overcome these connective tissue injuries that we can actually strengthen by working the other structures and making them more of a focus of our rehab plan.